guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I get a few comments on my Instagram asking what I use best for hypo treatments because I know a lot of people struggle um, treating hypos properly. Either you eat something and then you feel like your blood sugar is not rising enough, so you eat more and you're not going high, or equally, you just eat a lot because you're hungry. Like when you're low, your body is doing everything to get you to eat, to literally save your life. So you literally want to eat your entire kitchen cupboards and fridge. I know I used to really struggle with this, especially if I had like overnight lows, I would walk into the kitchen and eat everything. And I mean everything. I'd have like orange juice, yogurt, biscuits, cereal bars, anything I could find in the cupboards. But over the years, I perfected my kind of technique for treating hypos properly and most effectively and so I thought I'd share my tips for how to treat a hypo but not have the rebound spike afterwards and the things I use to treat my hypos. Also a little disclaimer, apologies if I'm super jittery and like all over the place and like buzzing in this video. Um, I just got my uni results back and I'm really 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 happy with them. Oh so, yeah, apologies for the kind of like over energy in this video but let's just get into it um so the best way to treat a hypo is you need to have to start with a fast acting carbs so like sugars basically and then follow up with some kind of slower release carbs that are going to stop you from crashing again after you're low um, there are a couple of things you can do for this i really like dextrose tablets i'll normally take two dextrose tablets and then and the snack and then if I find it hasn't gone up after 15 or 20 minutes I'll take two more but normally two to four will do the job for me um, there are lots of different variants you can get dextrose tablets so you can get gluco tabs I know are also really popular and I've had them in the past and I really like them both of these you can get on Amazon or in Boots if you're in the UK or Superdrug um, I'll leave some links in the description to Amazon sites for gluco tabs and that kind of thing I love these because they're super portable just shove them in your handbag, they take up like no space. You also know that you're only gonna have two or four and you're not gonna just eat a whole tube um, because number one, you know how much sugar's in each little tab, I suppose. They're not super Moorish um, and you're not gonna wanna keep eating them. So I really like these for that reason and gluco tabs and that kind of thing because they give you that quick sugar spike um, to get you out of that horrible feeling of being low pretty quickly. Um, but you're not gonna end up with a rebound spike. Sometimes if I feel really low, I feel like juice helps more. So just a nice bit of orange juice. Um, you don't want too much. It really depends on you, obviously, how much carb treats you're in personal hypo. I only have 50 to 100 mil of juice and then a, a carbohydrate, like a slower release carbohydrate snack, just because if I just have juice or just have dextrose tablets, then I will crash again afterwards but if I measure out 50 to 100 mil or I have and um, we have like really small like breakfast juice glasses um, and I'll have half of one of those and I know that's about right for me for the initial sugar spike um, but you can also get juice boxes they tend to be anywhere between like 15 to 20 grams of carbs so it just depends what you need and also juice boxes are super portable as well as long as they don't burst in your handbag which has happened to you before hence why I don't have them so often now um, but they can be quite a cheap alternative then we want some long acting carbs to prevent um, falling lower again later I really like and these are also really cheap these benefit cereal bars from Aldi so personally I know if I have two dextrose tablets or some juice I then need about 10 grams of long acting carbs to keep me steady and these are perfect whenever I treat with dextrose and one of these I go up to six or seven and stay there and it's incredible um, and yeah they're just these little tiny cereal bars um, they have different flavors and um, this one is cherry bakewell they have a chocolate orange one and they have I believe a nutty one but each one is only 65 calories which is also good if you are kind of tracking your macros and that kind of thing and you don't want high post snacks to take over loads of calories in your macros um, and each bar has exactly 10 grams of carbohydrate, 2.7 are sugar. They're obviously also, again, super portable. So normally, wh wherever I go, I take dextrose and at least one of these cereal bars. Um, sometimes I'll also take a cereal bar with a bit more carbs in it, like a Nature Valley bar or something, in case I have a really bad low, especially if I'm doing something like a long walk with my family 
or like walking around a big city, I normally take a lower gram of carb one and a higher gram of carb one, just in case I end up having more than one low or if I have a really bad low. Um, but you get five in a box um, and then they tend to last me um, a decent amount of time because you have one bar, I know I'm not gonna over treat and keep eating. I will come, I keep these in the kitchen and if I'm low, I come, I get my one bar and I remove myself from the kitchen so that I don't want to eat everything because number one, I don't need it. And number two, eating more is just gonna make you go high afterwards and there's nothing worse than a rebound high. Another option for kind of the longer acting carbs are rice cakes. Um, these are just some plain rice cakes and they're good if you kind of want something a bit savoury. We don't always want something sweet, well I always want something sweet, but a lot of people don't always want something sweet. Um, and rice cakes are good because you can also just put something on them to make them taste a bit nicer. If you fancy you can make it into a full blown little snack, tomatoes, ham, cream cheese, that kind of thing. Um, but let me just read the label. I can't remember. Yeah, so again, each rice cake is only 29 calories. So again, if you're kind of wanting to watch what you're eating a bit, trying to lose a bit of fat or whatever, 29 calories per rice cake, and each rice cake is 5.8 grams of carbs, which is really good because then you can alter it depending on how much, many carbs you personally need to treat a hypo. So I would have two of these, but if you're the kind of person that needs a bit more carbs, you could have three. Um, and yeah, you can customize them to your taste <laughs> at the time. You can make them sweet, you can make them salty. Obviously these are kind of more hypo snacks for at home because I wouldn't really just carry around a load of rice cakes in my handbag because they'll probably spill crumbs everywhere and they're quite bulky if you have a full packet left. Um, but yeah, again, really good, really easily measurable. So again, you're not gonna overeat and have a spike afterwards. And then finally, a few things. So this, these, last things I'm going to mention are kind of if I just want if I'm low say like half an hour to an hour before dinner and I don't really want to be eating like a decent sized snack I just want a bit of sugar to keep me going um one thing I have sometimes is just some sweets um I like fruit pastels or randoms but again obviously personal choice I don't obviously have these too often because they are like very highly sugary and I prefer to treat high pros with kind of less processed foods um but sometimes sweets are good but again so I'm personally can eat a few sweets and then stop but if you're the kind of person where sweets are like your enemy <laughs> like if you're the kind of person that really easily binge eats sweets I wouldn't use these as a hypo snack for me that would be like chocolate or crisps I would just keep eating so I don't use those to treat my hypo whereas sweets I can quite easily stop um, and I know I will have three to four or five depending on how many how low I am but I know three to five sweets is plenty to treat my hypo and just keep me steady for a couple of hours while I'm waiting for my next meal um, or an hour while I'm waiting for my next meal if I don't feel like having a full snack um, and these kind of have the fast acting sugars and a bit of carbs as well so you don't need to have the kind of double blow and then finally one thing I've gotten into recently is dried fruit so prunes or dates are my go-to um, again, just like with sweets, you need to work out how many you need personally to treat a hypo so that you know you're not going to overeat them and overcorrect. So I will have three to five prunes depending on the size of prune and how, how low I am. Um, but these I like to keep by my bed because if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like not low but going low and I don't want to overeat to treat a low I'll just have two to three prunes and that will keep me going till morning so like for example the other day I woke up at like half three and my blood sugar was like 4.5 and I was like okay I don't trust it to not drop so I had like three prunes when I woke up and my blood sugar was six and um, so I like to keep these by my bed I also keep dextrose tablets by my bed because again if you're having a really bad nighttime low I don't know about you but I get the extreme night sweats and shakes and it's just horrible and you want to get sugar in you as soon as possible so obviously i keep my phone by my bed so i can scan my libra munch on some of these and then depending on the low i'll either have some prunes or i'll come down to the kitchen and get one of these cereal bars um but i would highly recommend having snacks in your room um but snacks that you're not going to want to just snack on for the sake of it snacks that you know you have enough willpower to leave for genuine hypos whether that's a rice cake um, or prunes. I'm not likely to be sitting in my room and then just going to eat some prunes unless I need them. 
Um, I'll, and fi my final tips are obviously take hypo snacks wherever you go. So I said I keep dextrose and a cereal bar in my handbag. I also have the same in my car and make sure that as soon as you use them up, you replace them because you don't want to be caught out and about without hypo snacks. So I have si um, these and a cereal bar in my handbag, my uni bag when I used to go to uni and I don't know anymore, um, my <laughs> car. By my bed, I have, like I said, dextrose tablets and prunes and I also have dextrose and cereal bars in my dad's car. So I have them everywhere and I think that's important because you never know when you're going to go low and let's be real diabetes is a pain and hypos can sneak up on you no matter how hard we try so yeah that is all my tips for what I do to treat a hypo um just to sum up I would say don't over treat make sure you've had some fast acting carbs so that you don't get tempted to over treat if it's not going up quick enough Make sure your kind of slower release carbs aren't so slow release that they don't absorb like quickly enough. So like dairy products aren't the best for lows because they are very low GI and so they won't be absorbed very quickly. Um, make sure you have hypo snacks everywhere just in case, but make sure they are snacks that you're not going to want to overeat because the cravings when you're low, we all know are very, very real. And very hard to resist because your body thinks it's a matter of life and death so yeah that is all of my tips i hope this video has been useful for you guys if it has been please let me know in the comments below and give this video a like so that i know what kind of videos you enjoy watching also if you have any of your own hypo tips and tricks please again leave them in the comments below i would love to hear what you guys do and maybe pick up an extra couple of things that i can use to treat my hypos to kind of switch up a bit so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to, see you in, seeing, to seeing you in the next one.